Welcome back to a brand new video. We got the prop side here. Um, sticking their tongue out because they won't buy me. A bunch of cowards. Alright. Like I said, there are times they get so bold and they'll do it right in front of the camera. Right in front of my phone so I can record them. Like they don't care. And all of a sudden they start doing it on a sneak tip. Waiting till they get right by me as they're walking past me. And then they'll stick their tongue out at me. Yeah, okay, motherfuckers. Anyway, I was saying something. I don't know what I was saying, but as I walked by the bottle, so as I walked by this bottle, I turned, looked, and in the background, your predator department using their sirens. Mm -hmm. All right, so I want you to understand how silent sound operates, how it works, how they, you know, Control your mindset. Uh, the red theme. <laughs> look, 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 look at it. Look, <laughs> look. <laughs> so, okay, look at him, look at him. <laughs> Boy, you walk all the way over here because you want me to see your red bag. <laughs> Anyhow. Now the red, look at the theme, right? Walked away with the red bag, she with the red bag. Oh, look, the red beetle. Right, so what does it happen? Sometimes they'll, they'll show up in threes, like what you just see here. Right, other times it will be, you know, a whole bunch of red vehicles. But, you know, like I said, it doesn't bother me. But I want you guys to understand how, uh, oh, here we go again. Here, here, uh oh, she almost ran into the damn car. <laughs> Riding the bike, the red, uh, sweater hoodie anyhow um as i was saying uh what was i saying yeah oh, yeah pam so no i wasn't saying anything about her. but I, I just remember something so again so she's rain she's wearing gray and black today because you know they love to do the color theme right um Usually when she's wearing any other colors, she won't engage in the targeting as much, right? So for example, if she's wearing her her her, um, her work uniform, right, which is again, which is a, a navy blue or black, right? Um, sometimes the color gray, not so often, right? But the two colors, gray and black. She, uh, like I said, if I go into the kitchen, I think she was, um, you know, she was cleaning meat or something like that uh, I don't know what she was doing but anyway she was over the sink and I came into the kitchen to put on my shoes as soon as I came into the kitchen one of the things that she would do is turn and face the window okay all the time all right and um, you know I got to find a way of, of you know recording that so you guys can see what I'm talking about okay but that's what she does all the time all right and I'm surprised I was leaving. She, I guess, because she was, you know, doing what she was doing. But usually, what she'll do if I'm uh, putting on my my shoes to leave, as you guys saw in the previous video, she'll stay out in the hallway, or she in the foyer, or she'll go directly in front of the door, right, while she's on the phone, you know, engaging in the thing. I think she's on the phone because she thinks that maybe because of what, because she know what it is they're doing, and they know that again. First of all, I don't hit women, right? But you know, they all they figure they keep pushing, pushing my buttons then maybe eventually that'll happen. Listen, I don't hit one, all right? <laughs> Period. You know, like I said, the, her, her, these two baby mamas of mine, I call them baby mamas, have done so much to me that it's just like, like I to keep telling myself, if, it was, if I wasn't another guy, you know, I would be in jail and you probably wouldn't even be alive, okay? But that's not who I am. And though they may try to manipulate me and, and manipulate situations to try to, you know, poke at my emotions to the point where they want me to get upset, I leave. Well, I better stand over there. Red, red cap on her. Right? So I want you guys to see how the color red is being used. And she came over there, walking past that red car, and he holds up his hands, showing me four fingers. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, um, 
you know, watching, I, well, let me finish. So anyway, so they, they'll try to pork at me, pork at me, pork at me until, you know, I, I, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the only time I get aggressive with them is when they get aggressive with me, right? Particularly, whether it be psychologically or physically, right? And physically, they don't do that anymore, even though they'll use women, though. I want you to understand how they think. See, they, they won't use men because they know that, um, you know, not that I want to fight my brothers, but no, but if you are being sent to target me, right, and you're doing this passive aggressive shit, then I'm not backing down from you, right? I understand, I mean, I love my brothers, but I know some of them are my enemies. I know some of them are the enemies of black people. I know some of them are being used to destroy our community and to destroy black leaders and to keep us from having a conscious awakening and some of our women <laughs> okay like I said you know at the beginning they try to bribe with money be a gatekeeper I'm not, I'm not no that's what that's the reason why I got fired from my job basically because they wanted me to be silent and I wouldn't be silent I said no you know, they didn't want me to speak up for uh, uh, employees that, you know, that they were treating bad. You know, I'm, just, I'm like, you know, you, you, you have this guy working at night and, you know, you're paying him minimum wage. And he's a scanner operator, a night scanner operator. He's supposed to be making at least 45000 And he was better than the guy in the day. And the guy in the day was a white guy. He used to come into work drunk, right? He used to come into work drunk. And then eventually, I think he was working, they had... Um, they had, um, um, I think he, I don't know if, I think he, he, he cursed at a, a female employee, right? So they finally fired him. Like I tell you, these white people, they can do so much at their job and not get fired, right? But he cursed at a white, white girl, <laughs> white woman, a younger white woman, a younger, and, and they fired him, right? But they were paying this guy, black guy, working at night, minimum wage scanner operator. And, I'm, and he told me that shit, I was like, wow, man. I was like, yo, you can't, they can't do this. I'm like, that's crazy, you know, but they want black people who's going to bow their head and not say nothing, be treated, you know, ill treatment, because that's how we are, we are raised in the, in the religious uh, 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 indoctrination, and as black men and women, you know, we've been taught to keep our head down and, and not say anything, go along to get along. Like I said, you know, like I, I recognized when I was younger, if there was a man in the house, and again, I, I'm not saying this to say anything bad about my mother but she doesn't know remember my mother from the caribbean came to america her sister sent for her she sent for her kids right and even back in Korea, she didn't, she wasn't with my dad you know it, it's it's not like i said we are we can't blame our parents uh for certain things right now if your parents was abusive to you and you know such and such you know, I can see how, you know, you, you, you can blame them, but you also got to understand, you know, how this world, how this white supremacist uh, uh, um, society works and how it destroys uh, black people, black men and black women. And apparently, you know, unfortunately, you know, uh, black people, we're going to have kids, <laughs> right? We're going to, and this is what they don't want. They, they want to continue traumatizing us and separating us and putting us against each other because again, it's population control. They, there are many forms in which they do population control against black people. We just think there's only one way. There are many ways in which they do population control. Okay? So let's say if black people have a whole bunch of kids, guess what? The dying age for black men and black women is gonna be even younger. There are ways in how they offset certain things. And this is what we have to understand, right? Even today, like I said, black men die the youngest. Then it's black women, right? So white men and white women live an average of a decade to two decades more than black people. I, I'm telling you, go and we go and get that book. Um, go and get the book, uh, how white people got so rich, okay? And it tells you this, the 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 scheme that the system is set up to do. So when black men and black women you know, we're working, yeah, you're you know, working minimum wage, what have you, or what, ha you know, what have you. You know, we're, we're working all these hours, paying into Social Security, right? You, we die younger. Who do you think benefits from the Social Security in the long run? But white men and white women. 
You understand? So when until you under like you know, really fully said, until you understand what white supremacy is truly about in all of its incredulous uh incredulous I can't even say the damn word. <laughs> but until you fully and truly understand what white supremacy is really about, everything you know about white supremacy is gonna fool you because they what they show you or what they report on the news is on the surface. It's on the surface. For you to really truly understand what goes on behind the scenes, you need to read. You need to read um, The Color of Money. Uh, I forgot her name. You need to read uh, The Color of Law. You need to read The Black Tax by Sean, I forgot his last name. Black brother, brilliant brother. Uh, you need to read The, the Marriage, um, uh, uh, Black, what is it, Black, uh, I, got the, I got the book. But it's a black woman who wrote this book about the, the, the marriage tax about how the tax brackets, the tax system is it, 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 it is created to go against black people. You know, I was just talking, we were just um, watching a program about um, Florida State, Florida FMU, I think. FMU is a black historical black college. Or is it FMU? Right? But the state, all this college, billions of dollars, right? They are overpaying white colleges tens of billions of dollars than what they're supposed to get and they're given and they're not given these this black historically black college nothing just a couple million okay and it's mandated in the state law that they give that historical black university the same amount of money that they give to the white universities right so why isn't that the why is that the news again how white people can do this they can do this and we walk around here as if you know, they can run their little uh, 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 manipulation scheme or what have you. Oh, he's not a Christian. Or we're going to do this thing. You know, we're going we're gonna to blackmail him into Christianity. What kind of shit is that? Right? What kind of shit is that? Imagine if the Muslim was doing it to their ass. <laughs> right? What, how, what they would, how they would feel. Okay? Because black people in America and around the world in the Caribbean are so indoctrinated with Christianity that they cannot see the reality and they cannot see the truth because it has been ingrained in their subconscious by Jesus. Okay? And, and, and not everyone has the ability to look at this thing. But when you're younger, you always know something is wrong. Like you always ask questions. And trust me, you get into the, you go into the, into the, you go to these white people, these white racist cops sitting around in our community, listening to all our, they do. Not only do they listen to our, our communication, but there are some other black people out there to put you off your path. They'll use women to put you off your path. Honey trap. Okay? Because I just I guess I started listening to the audiobook, which I have to get the Kindle version of it, um, Dark Persuasion. Right? And he talks about this. You also go get, go get the book uh, Menticide by um, by uh, 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 Joss Malou, right? Mentis, uh, mental side. You know, when I, I you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, yo, that's this is what they, this is what they, they do to us. They, 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 they create a psychological condition within us as black people, the vast majority of us. You know, we tend to have a false uh, reality of, of how. You know, black, vast majority of their black people are not the wealthy, are not the middle class, are not the lower middle class, are not even, you know, they they are the 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 working class and the working poor. The vast majority. You know? <laughs> you know, like I said, uh, when I speak about these things, I speak factual. I, I, you know, give me the data, give me the statistics, don't give me your outdoor experience. The minute us black men start giving our animal experience, if it's the norm, is the more we become like black women. Okay, that's how they speak. They speak using their animal experience as if it's the norm. Hold on, I'm 69. <laughs> Again, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.